Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is that time again and I have decided to declutter my makeup collection. So if you saw part one, the eyeshadow declutter, which, oh my goodness you guys, that video was forever. I swear I did not think it would be that long. I know that I was sitting there for a second going through each of my eyeshadows, but man. Now, I can promise you, this video is not as long as that eyeshadow declutter. And we got rid of some of my blushes, bronzers, and highlights, as well as went through some of my face palettes because even though I did this like six months ago, moving into a new place, getting things situated in the drawers, my drawer system is a little bit different. Before I put everything away, I wanted to make sure that I just kind of had that sanity check that I didn't need every product that I still owned. So you guys, <laughs> I did get rid of some things. I didn't get rid of a whole bunch, but I did get rid of some. Now, with that being said, I am not giving away my makeup to any of the women's shelters because during the pandemic, it was really difficult trying to find a place that would let me donate to them. Um, they would only let me donate specific things if it hadn't been used at all. So I am gonna be giving those things that I decluttered to my friends and it'll be things that have been gently used. There are some things that I was like, nope, this definitely needs to go in the trash. I won't be sending anything out to you guys either. Please do not ask in the comments. I know last time there were a lot of people asking for things to be sent to them and I won't be doing that this time. I do have a giveaway coming up for you guys probably in February, so definitely look for that. But I'm not gonna give away any of my old makeup to you guys, I'm really sorry. I really hope that you do find satisfaction in going through makeup and decluttering. I did swatch a couple things because you know, sometimes you just need to try out a product to really get an idea of if you still love it. It looks different in the pan than it does on skin, so we did do a little bit of that. Now you guys, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you wanna see what I got rid of in my collection, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, we're back at it. And I just pulled the blush out of the drawer. It all fits in this little container. This is a drawer for my little rollaway cart that was empty. So we're going to, in no particular order, start going through these blushes. Okay, you guys, so got these all out of the container. Just kind of organized them. This isn't all of them, obviously. I did kind of break them up into, so these are more of the blush palettes. Some of my like freestanding one or two Z with my blushes and then I have like the bigger ones like ColourPop and Kylie and then my liquid and cream blushes all broken down so that's kind of the flow so we'll start out right here with melt this one was the Mariposa palette the shades in here are really pretty this burnt orange is absolutely not my favorite I haven't played with it at all but I did just get this palette so I do want to play around with it um, when I did my video for this I think I mixed this shade and this lighter pink shade. So I do want to see what I can get out of here. And I feel like mixing a couple of these shades might actually be a little bit better for me. So far, I'm going to keep this because it is very new into my collection. Then I have the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic. This palette I just got as well. You guys, there are some stunning shades in here. The eyeshadow palettes from Laura Lee are phenomenal. I love the Nudie Patootie in Nude Number 2. So when I saw that she had blushes coming out, I was like, let me check it out. So I am going to keep this. Um, this peachy shade was so beautiful. I do want to try it with like golden haze on top, just kind of like a blush topper. Those have been a lot of fun lately too. So this one will stay in my collection. And can we just talk about the packaging? Like it is so cute. Okay, so then we have the Jaclyn Rouge Romance. The packaging is really cute. And then the shades in here, they're very like peachy orange, kind of the shades that I gravitate towards. This one isn't showing up really well because of the gold foil on this packaging but it is kind of like on the pinkier side. So I feel like this I can kind of blend out a little bit. Don't go in heavy handed with this one because it is concentrated and very beautiful and pigmented. So this one will also stay. I feel like I picked up more blush palettes this year 
than any other year. So this one will also stay. This one from Alomar, you guys, these shades are stunning. This one is the Colorette Blush Trio for medium to tan. You guys, these shades are absolutely gorgeous and they're just so buttery and smooth. That is the peachy shade that I gravitate towards. So this one will also stay. Um, The Hip Dot Clueless. First off, this is nostalgic, but I don't know that I necessarily need to keep this one. It's cute. The pink shade is okay, but it's just not my favorite. Now the like shimmer brick blushes, that one is really pretty, but do I need to keep it just for that shade? I feel like I can give this to a friend and they will absolutely love this. You guys, look at that. The Juvia's Blushed Rouge. This is in volume two. These two shades mixed together are beautiful. They're also really pretty by themselves. I didn't think that I would like this pinky shade by itself, but it is really pretty on the skin. And then with a little dip of the orange, orangey brick red, whatever shade you would call that. They are beautiful. So I am going to keep this one from Juvia's Place. Now I just have a couple of like the small ones. So this one is Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer. Oh, uh, so I guess this should be in like my face palettes. But first off, how is this a bronzer? The peachy shade in here, I have it in another palette. I am going to pass this on. And it's just, it's it's tiny. I forget about it. It gets stuck in the back of my drawer. This one from Aritza. I just recently got this and I tried it out. It is so powdery. This is an ombre blush. It's pretty, but I have blushes I like more that don't fluff up. I'm going to pass this one on. This one from Too Faced, this is the Apricot in the Act. This <laughs> is very interesting. So let's see if I can kind of mix them together and it gives like that peachy shade. Whether you just do this darker shade by itself or then mix in the topper, it is so stunning on the skin. It just kind of gives you that like really pretty orange flush. So I'm gonna hold on to this one for right now. And I really do like Too Faced products. In the eyeshadow declutter, I was talking about the um, little like snowman effect. <laughs> so this is the blusher for that palette and it has four different blushes in it. I do also still have the bronzer and highlight one that we will find but these are some beautiful shades. I am gonna keep this. It does actually go to the base of that snowman. And when they're nested together, it is super cute. All right, so this one is from Pacifica. This is in the shade Wild Rose. You guys, it's just, it's not the shade that I gravitate towards. It's still like buttery and smooth. It's just more of like a purpley hue and it's not really showing up, but I'm going to pass this one on. So then this one from Ulta, it's in the shade Infatuation. It's cute. It looks like it has um like silver glitter in it but it's just it's not my vibe and I haven't used it so I don't want to swatch it and then put my fingers in it I will pass it on to a friend next I had this one from Gigi Gorgeous this is the only blush duo in authentic and pride these shades look beautiful I just haven't used it and as much as I want to keep it I have blushes in my collection that I have already used so I'm gonna pass this on to a friend because I haven't touched it and you know, maybe they can get some good use out of it. But it does have like a shimmery one and then a matte so that you can kind of get that like flush from within and that natural glow. So I am going to pass this one on. Okay, so then I have this baked blush from Laura Geller. It's in the shade Tropic Hues. This blush is so beautiful. It has the coolest effect and I got this in a subscription box. But you guys, I have really quickly fallen in with some, fallen in love with some Laura Geller products. So then I have this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Quirky. I have gotten rid of the other like Tarte ones. This one's the only one I still have in my collection and it is really pretty. So I am going to hold on to this one. I just need to use it more. This Blush Crush from Lottie London, it's in the shade Justin. <laughs> it's a really pretty shade. It feels super powdery, so I am going to pass this one on. This blush from Ofra, it's in the old packaging. It's in the shade Bellini, but you guys, this blush is my favorite color. I love a peachy blush. This one's gonna stay in my collection. I'm just, I'm not repurchasing it if I still have it, and I used it the other day, still beautiful on the skin. These two from MAC, I have this shade Sweets For My Sweet. 
This is a multi-dimension. It is really pretty like fuchsia. <laughs> But it just looks so wet and juicy on the skin. Like, my lighting is just messing with me, you guys. So I am going to keep this one. I'll play around with it some more. It is just a really pretty, like, pink effect. And then I have this one from MAC, which is the Cheer Up Glow Play Blush. This is kind of like a putty blush to powder. Love, love, love this one. Can you see like how much I have <laughs> dug into it and used it? Usually it's got like a dome on it, but it is flattened out, you guys. So these are really pretty and this is a beautiful color. I have these two from Kiko. This one I purchased when I was in London. This is in the shade Smart. And it's a really pretty peach. This shade is beautiful. It's not super powdery. It is kind of smooth. This one is also from Kiko. This is a baked blush from the Dolce Diva collection, which you guys, the packaging is super cute. This shade, I really, really like this baked blush. So I am going to keep this in my collection. But you guys, I'm loving this natural lighting. The downside is it's illuminating my pasty white hands. So trying to swatch is just beyond. Okay, you guys, now I switched over to some of the cream and liquid blush products that I have. Cream products haven't been something that I've like super gravitated towards. I can tell you that I've been trying. So like this first one right here from Iconic London, I literally just did a video with Merit using this. Beautiful. So I'm not even gonna swatch this. I did just use this in a video, go check it out. But this is in the shade Sheer Blush and it is so beautiful. So this will stay in my collection. This one from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Adore. I only used it once. So I'm going to give it another shot, try it out, and see how I like it. I can't remember if I liked it from that video. I just have to remember to put my liquid and cream products on before I put powder so that they're underneath and then I can touch up with a little bit on top or add like a powdered blush if I want to amplify it. Then I have this one from M -M -M Mitchell. This is the Blursh. And this one is in the shade Peach Sugar. I picked this one up in like spring of 2021 and I really liked this shade. You guys, it's just like a, like once it's muted down, it is a really pretty like peachy shade on the skin. So a little goes a long way. I put this on the back of my hand so it can kind of warm up and then tap, tap, tap into the skin. So I am gonna keep that one as well. This one from XX Revolution, which how many off spouts do we need? This one is just orange. <laughs> And it's starting to dry up. Do you see it? It's like cracking away from the walls. So this one's gonna go in the trash. Then I have this Bear With Me Luminous Cheek Serum from NYX. I don't remember using this at all. We will try. Oh, so. That's kind of like a burnt orange and it just disappeared to nothing. I'm going to get rid of that. You guys, there's nothing there. It literally, there, there's nothing, all the light, all the naturalness, there's nothing, you guys. Okay, then I have the Can Make Cream Cheek. This was from my K-Beauty um, video. This is in the shade 07. I got this off of Yes Style, and it is super pretty. On the skin, it was just that really pretty peachy shade. So I am going to keep this one and play around with it some more. I just, it... It's been boxed up, so I haven't played with it. The e.l.f. Putty Blush. This is in the shade Turks and Caicos. You can't really tell, but it's it's on the label. This peachy shade is stunning. I do just need to remember to play around with my cream shades, but it is beautiful. Then I have this one from Kaja Beauty. I think I got this in a subscription box. So it's got the little like pounce right there, and then it has the little stamper in the shape of a heart. So I am gonna keep this one. I haven't really given my cream products a fair shake, but I did have fun in the last video that I did with cream products. So I really need to reach for them more. These ones from Milk. So I have one that is brand new. This is actually like a cheek and lip oil. So I'm gonna keep this one cause it is still in the packaging. Now I have one that is open and it looks like it's okay, but we'll see how it swatches. I mean, it looks like it's okay, but I haven't really used this and it's been open for a minute. So 
I think I'm gonna throw this one away because it does say 18 months and I think it's been open for that long. It doesn't smell bad, I just, it's interesting. So I will throw this one away. Then I have this one as well from Milk. This is the Leap it. Lip and Cheek in Perk. It's just like a peachy, Let's see. Ooh, that one feels really good. I just don't know when I opened it. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I will try it out and see. I really thought this was gonna be dried out. I just, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, so another one from Milk. This is the Lip and Cheek in Work. Ooh, that one is really pretty too. So I will keep that in my collection as well. Okay, I have this one from Han, which is the Roseberry All Natural Multi-Stick. This isn't really a shade that I would gravitate towards. Ooh, and it's like crumbly. I'm gonna throw this one away. When it comes to cream products, I don't even give them to my friends. I just throw them away because of the germs. This is the blush stick from ColourPop. I'm not starting on the whole ColourPop collection yet, but this is part of the cream product. Products. This one is in the shade Shell Out. It's really pretty. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that one. Can my natural lighting just work with me? It is really pretty, so I am going to keep that. I do need to play around with my blush stick a little bit more. I purchased it and then I forget about them. My cream products need to have like their own little bin. Okay, and then the last three cream products. This one is from Jouer. It's the Blush and Bloom. So these are both very shimmery. I did like these when I purchased it and tried it with the French Riviera palette. So I am gonna keep this. Um, let's see, can I? The lighting is not helping me. You guys, and I have no box lights on, no ring light. When you want natural light, and it finally comes through, and then it's not the lighting that you want. But these are in the shades Parasol and Coquio. And then these two are from YC Beauty, YC Collection. These came in a subscription box. I was not a huge fan. So this one is in the shade Guayaba. It's more of like the orangey hue. It's just, it's not that pretty. It's not my color. So I'm going to throw that one away. And then this one is in the shade Watermelon. I did like this one. It's more of like a pinchy pink, but I, I don't remember liking the formula. Like I wanna say it was like really watery, so. Yeah, it's just not my favorite shade. So I am going to pass this on. Okay, you guys, so this is the last bit of blushes. And these are ColourPop, Kylie, Kimchi, Milani, a smattering of the ones I have just like one or two of. My blush collection is way smaller than it was last time, so that's a bonus. Um, and I haven't completely added back to it. We do still have face palettes, so like that's a whole nother ordeal. Okay, so we'll start right here with this one from Kimchi. This was in the shade Grace, and this one's actually a two-parter. So there's a blush and then like a shimmery color that goes on top of it, kind of like a highlighter probably by itself. This is beautiful. When you just swatch it together, it's just, oh, look at that, you guys. So beautiful. I love this on the skin, especially like when it soaks into the skin after setting spray. Mm. This one, the Gold Rush from Benefit. I have this in a palette, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna set this off to the side. If I don't have this in a palette, I'm going to keep it. I have hit pan on this, which, <laughs> do you know how hard it is to hit pan on a Benefit brick? You guys, I love, love, love this blush. And it is the only one that I still have in a brick from Benefit. If it's in a palette, I will get rid of this. If I don't, then it will stay. That's where we're at with this one. So then we have this one from NARS. This is in the Cult Blush Orgasm. Like everyone loves this blush. And you guys, I had this in a face palette, but the palette is almost out. So I'm gonna keep this one because I had purchased this because it was starting to hit pan. And yet I still have that face palette, so. This one I'm going to keep only because I know that when that one runs out, I'm going to want this. Let's jump into some ColourPop because there's a lot. This one right here, this is in the shade 
meteor right this one is kind of like a darker peachy shade so i'm going to hold on to this one for right now then i have this one in interstellar this one is more of like a pinky purpley shade it's not necessarily one that i gravitate towards so i am going to pass this one on this one is the love story pressed powder blush Ooh, that one's really pretty it's just kind of got like a gold shimmer in there it is stunning I'm going to keep that one and then this one in secret crush more of that bubblegum pink not my flavor so I'm going to pass this one on the packaging is stunning though you guys and I'm not gonna keep a blush just for your packaging now this one in juice bar okay that <laughs> That is too deep for me, so I'm going to pass this on to a friend. This one in Fashion District. It's a little bit deeper. Maybe if I have a suntan, this would work. I'm going to hold on to it for now and actually, let's see. See, I was like, well, maybe they're very similar. This one right here from Melrose is a little bit darker so i'm going to keep both of them for right now all right so then i have these two from the hello kitty collection and the packaging is adorable but you guys the shades <gasps> look how bright they are ah there is no way that is going to not make me look like a clown so this one in the shade island shine is gonna go away and then also this one in aloha honey Okay, I might be able to tone this one down. I'm going to keep this one just because it is like, I can't even say a peachy orange. It's just like corally orange. I'm gonna keep this, I'll try it out. If I don't like it, we'll declutter it next time. And then these two from Mulan. This one is in the shade Matchmaker. See, this one's very subdued, kind of like a peachy, no, not even peachy. It's kind of like a tannish shade. I remember liking this one. And then this one's a little bit darker. See but when I put them next to each other, and that's what we need to do. We need to just compare and contrast. So this one right here in the shade Good Luck Charm, I'm gonna keep Good Luck Charm because it's more of that peachy, and then I'm gonna get rid of this one, which kind of looks like it could be a bronzer for a very fair person. So Matchmaker is gone. Okay, now we have <laughs> the Disney ones. And I know I didn't get rid of any of these last time, but you guys, let's just... Let's make some room. So this one is Floating Lights. It's like purpley pink. As much as I wanna keep this one, the reality is I don't need it. It's on the cooler side. I need something a little bit warmer. Not super warm, but warmer. So this one's gonna go away. This one is in Enchanted Mirror. This one's not so bad. It is pink, but it's not like super cool toned like the last one. So I might hold on to this one for right now. I mean, it's not bad having a pink shade in your collection. So for right now, we'll hold on to that one. Then we have Court of Miracles. Oh, that's very, very, very pink. Uh, I don't know. Do I need this? I might hold on to it for right now just because it is a little bit deeper of a pink. Maybe I'll change my mind and want a pinky shade. So hold on to that for right now. And then the last one, Kissing a Frog. See, that one's really pretty too. Actually, here we go. We're going to just compare. This one's gonna go away because it is on the lighter side. I'm, I'm light, but I don't know if this one in the shade Enchanted Mirror will actually show up on my skin for as pale as I can be. So we're going to pass this one on and I'm gonna keep these two. They're a little bit deeper, which means I should be able to build them. So I kept Court of Miracles and Kissing a Frog. We're doing better than last time, you guys. Let's just be honest. Okay, let's go into these right here. So first off, I have this one in, this is actually a highlighter. This is from the Roaring Hearts collection. It's in the shade Charleston. And honestly, you guys, this I would use as like a blush topper. I just got this one. I really had a lot of fun using this one as a blush topper. So I'm going to keep this for right now. All right, you guys, <laughs> I just reorganized these a little bit based off of like the collection. So first off, I have the Tinkerbell ones. This one is in the shade Magic Moon. This one I want to say is the peachy shade. So this one I'm going to keep. It is super stunning. I love this one. I can put this on top of powder and it still looks beautiful. So we're gonna keep that one. And then this one in Darling, I wanna say this one's more like burnt orange. 
as pretty as that is oh it's so creamy but you guys that is not my shade so i'm going to pass that one on okay then i have these two from the bitty collab with ColourPop. This one's in the shade Double Bubble. This one's just a really pretty peachy shade. I do like this one. I've used it quite a bit. So I'm going to keep this one. If you take care of your Super Shock blushes, highlighters, eyeshadows, they will stay good for over two years. They will not dry out. You just have to make sure to close them properly. And then this one in the shade Simply Sweet. This one's more of like a pinky shade. And it looks like it's like cracking, but it is still like nice and bouncy. It's just too pinky for me, so I'm going to pass this one on. This one in the shade Drop of a Hat. First off, you guys, when I first saw this, I was like, there's no way. This is actually really pretty. If you go in lightly and tap it on the skin, this just gives a beautiful like flush to the skin. It is stunning. So I am going to keep this one. It was a surprise to me when I saw it. I was like, ooh, that is too dark. There is no way. And then I ended up absolutely loving it. Then I have these three from the ColourPop Land, which was like the Candyland collection. This one is in the shade Gummy More. And it's just kind of like a pinky hue. This one does feel like it's dried out. So I'm going to end up throwing this one away. Then I have Jolly, which this one like this has the marble effect Ooh, that one's so creamy and it is a beautiful shade i'm going to keep this one see and that's just the difference they both came out at the same time but the other one felt dried out and this one still feels nice and creamy so i'm going to use this one and keep it you guys were doing good i have four of the jelly super shock blushes then this one is in the shade gumdrop pass this one looks very purpley yeah, that one is on the purple side. Like, I don't know if that's picking up. Um, we're going to get rid of this one. And then the last three. This one I actually used as a bronzer because it's so dark. This is Voila. It is really pretty. It's kind of like a burnt red orange shade. It is very juicy on the skin though. I'm going to pass this on because I did just keep, in comparison to... The one that I just kept, they look very similar. I just, I know that I like this one. Then I have this one in Georgette. This one is very, ah, very bright. Very, very bright. Yeah, that one, I'm going to keep it because it's very interesting. I don't know that I will necessarily use it, but I do like Super Shocks because they're buildable. So maybe I can dip in, add a little bit of color, blend it out and try it out. So I am going to keep this one. And then this one in Chiffon. This one, it's saying it's a Super Shock cheek. It looks more like a highlighter, you guys. It's like an interesting like pinky gold. Oh yeah, that's more of a highlighter. I'm gonna put this in the highlighter drawer. You guys, we did pretty good. I only kept five of them, so. All right, now we have this last stack of ColourPop. Okay, so this is in the shade Trippin'. I use this one as a bronzer, honestly, and that's where I'm gonna put this. This is gonna go in the bronzer drawer. <laughs> yeah, it says it's a powder blush. If you have a deeper skin tone, this will work beautifully, but I do like this as a bronzer. Then I have this one, Jet Set. Or maybe it's this one that I like as the bronzer. I'm gonna keep both of these. They are very different shades, but they're gonna go in the bronzer drawer now. And that's the thing, you guys, even though it's labeled as blush, bronzer, highlight, depending on your skin tone, it may be used differently for each person. Okay, so next I have this one in the shade Fresh, Fresh and Peachy. This was from that peach collection. This one is beautiful. I love this shade. I will keep this one. And then this one in Frisky Business. Ooh, see, and I liked both of these. I used both of them the same. One's a little, like this one's got a little more pink. This one has a little bit more orange. This one, obviously I've used it a lot. I'm gonna keep both of them. They have different shades 
yeah, I do like a good peachy blush. So these are both going to stay. So then I have this one in Catch My Vibe. Um, This one's on the pinky side, kind of with like a purple undertone. This one I'm going to pass on. Then this one in Whole Nine Yards, very purpley, not my undertone. So I'm going to pass this one on. And then Desert Rose. This one I can keep. It's more of the peachy side peachy pinky. So I'm going to keep this one. And then my Kylie, this one is the one with the collab for the Grinch. Very, very pinky. Um, I don't know that I'm going to reach for this one. I'm going to keep it anyways. Um, it was part of that collab. I do like the pink. Maybe, maybe I'll get some use out of it. We will see. But for right now, I'm going to keep it in my collection. Then we're going shopping. Okay, first off, the other thing is, I know that the formula has been redone for Kylie. The packaging is different. I'm still not gonna get rid of them because I paid money for these. This one is that peachy, kind of orangey shade. I do like this. I've used it quite a bit, so I am gonna add, or I am gonna keep this in my collection. And then from the Stormy collection, this one's kind of like a lilac-y pink. This does give a really pretty, like, just flushed skin look. So I'm going to keep this one in my collection. It's in the shade Flutter in Love. All right, so then we're down to the last bits of them. All right, so I have this one from Hourglass. It's in the shade Diffused Heat. Like, the metallic is not helping right here. This one is really pretty with a very light hand. And I will not get rid of it. It is a really pretty blush on the skin. It just kind of gives you that I just left the gym look. Then I have this one from Lancome. This has been in my collection for a while. This is the Blush Teal in Blushing Tresor. And you guys, I have used the crap out of this. It's just kind of like that peachy pink with kind of like a gold shade in it. It is really powdery and dusty. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this one. Like, look at, ugh, you guys. It is a pretty shade. I might repurchase it later, but that one feels dried out. This shade from, or this one from Patrick Ta. This is the monochromatic moment, or monochrome moment in She's Passionate. I got this in a subscription box and it is phenomenal, you guys. This peachy shade. Love this one. Just used it again in my shop, my stash. And then Milani, you guys, they have some of the best baked blushes. These two are fairly new to my collection. This one is in the shade Bella Bellini. It is stunning. Do you guys see the pink gold shift in this? Not going anywhere. And then this one in Petal Primavera. This is just the most beautiful like pinky shade. And I told you guys, I don't gravitate towards pinkies, but this one on the skin is stunning. It just gives you like that ethereal glow on your skin. Now I do have these two, they're the same shade. <laughs> I'm almost like out of this one. Like I've hit pan, I've kind of hit pan. This is in Luminoso and this is the replacement that I purchased for it, like it's still sealed. So I'm going to finish up this one. You can see, like, you can see the imprint. <laughs> it's on its last leg, you guys. Um, so I am going to keep this one and continue to use it. And then my backup will stay in my drawer. And then this one in Berry Amore is also stunning. I haven't used it a lot. It does have some gold flakes in it. It is really pretty, but it will also stay in my collection. I really do love Milani. It is super affordable at the drugstore. Go check out their big blushes. It just, mm, you guys. You guys, that's it. Uh, I think I did pretty good. These should all fit in my drawer much better. Okay, you guys, now on to bronzers. So I just pulled these out of the drawer. <laughs> I have a couple bronzer palettes or like big bronzers. And then this is kind of the organizer that I have. So some of these are the ones that I use more frequently. And even then it's just not like how I would have it set up. So we're about to go through these together. Let me pull them out and uh, get them organized. Okay, you guys, so I broke my bronzers down more in, I'm not gonna say high end, some of these are considered high-end, 
and then I've got my creams and then I also have my more affordable. So we're going to go through these ones real quick and where to start. So we're going to go with Too Faced because I have the most Too Faced bronzers. It is, oh, but you guys, they're so beautiful. Let's just be realistic. So this is my favorite one right here. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. This bronzer smells delicious. I have not hit pan on it, but you can start to see that the impression has disappeared a little bit. This is by far one of my favorites and I just reach for this one so much. So we're gonna keep this one. It's kind of gonna be the one that I compare my other ones to. Then the Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. This is just a sample size, which is honestly all you need, but this one is the like most glowy effect. It is stunning, you guys. I love this one and I need to purchase a bigger one once I like am out of this one, if it's still available. Then I have the Too Faced Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer. I don't know that I reach for this one that much, it's just kind of like, oh, so glowy and maybe I should reach for it more. Can you guys see that? <gasps> Stunning. Okay, so this one right here, this is the Hot Cocoa Bronzer. I just got this in the winter collection. It is the cutest and it is so beautiful on the skin. Oh my goodness. I love the little Hot Cocoa effect in here. It is so cute. So this one will stay in the packaging, you guys. It's just adorable. Like Too Faced does packaging cute. Like just super cute. The Too Faced Pineapple Sun, you guys, and it smells delicious, but blended together, just golden and radiant. It's a beautiful bronzer topper just to give you like that sun-kissed glow after, you know, being at the beach or just going out for the night. This is the prettiest effect. This one came out with that Natural Lust eyeshadow palette that I was talking about in my eyeshadow declutter. This is the Natural Lust bronzer. It's a satin dual tone bronzer, and you guys, this one is beautiful. So you can just do the bronzer, which is something that I do often, or you can mix it all together and you just get that really pretty sheen. You guys, my lighting is getting better as the sun is like coming up. <laughs> It's on the front of the house, so it's just showing through my front window. But you guys, look at that. It is stunning. So I'm keeping that one as well. I don't think I'm getting rid of any of my Too Faced ones, just because they are so good. The Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. This is a Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer. The package is kind of clunky, but you guys, I, I make room for it because it is just that bronzer. And it, there's so much in here. I have barely made a dent, but I also lost this in my drawer for a while. So <laughs> that I had to put it in my dividers so I could actually find it. But it is, it is so good. And then the Coco Contour, this one I actually found at a TJ Maxx. So I do go between these two shades a lot. And then Pop of Light is just one of those like highlighting shades. The light shade right here for under the eye to brighten up a little bit. But for the most part, I use these two, which is unfortunate because it is a clunky package. But I like mixing these two, especially when I have a tan, because it's not as light as the Milk Chocolate Soleil. Okay, you guys, now I have these two from Becca. So this one is the Bronze Bondi. It's very warm. It's pretty, it's just a little sample size but I don't reach for it that often. So I am going to actually get rid of this. I thought I was gonna keep it, but I barely use it. And I just, I mean, you just saw, I kept all those Too Faced ones that I like so much more. Becca's also no longer a brand. Um, some of the other companies like Smashbox have taken up Champagne Pop, which is their like go-to highlighter. So you can't even get this anymore. I'm gonna get rid of it. Then I have the Chloe and Malika. This one I will probably keep because it is really pretty when you do a big fluffy brush in here. You get that just bronzed kiss on the skin, like a very glowy bronze kiss. So these ones I will keep. They're not something that I'm going to use in a video, but like when I do my makeup outside of my YouTube channel, I can reach for these, which 
I do sometimes. Then I have some of these that are just kind of onesie twosies like the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is in medium and it's just their soft radiance. So this one, it's nothing too like overbearing. I do have to build it. I probably should have gone for like a deeper shade, but for right now I'm going to keep it because I do reach for this a lot. You can see like, can you? I don't know if you can tell, but I do reach for this one a lot. I do like it. This baked bronzer from the Dolce Diva collection. This one's in Special Honey. First off, this smells exactly like the Milk Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. There's so much bronzer in here. It is beautiful on the skin. It just gives you like that sun-kissed glow. Love, love, love this one. Now these two, I wasn't really sure like where they fell as far as like uh, high-end or affordable. So they're just in the pile. This one is from Gigi Gorgeous. I got this in a subscription box. This is in the shade Turned in Extra. And you guys, this one's a little bit cooler. This one's a little bit warmer. I just haven't used it. And I feel like one of my friends can get more use out of this. So I am going to pass this one on. And then the Shades by Sean Bronzer. This one, I don't remember if I liked it. I just, it feels very powdery. It's not really a shade that I gravitate towards. So I am going to pass this one on. It is in the shade Latte. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one, like I swiped my hand. That is just very very heavy on the skin, so. Okay, next we'll take this little pile. This one is the NARS Laguna. Oh, you guys, this bronzer. I do have it in a face palette, but I do like grabbing this and chucking it in my makeup bag just to travel. It is a little sample size. It's super convenient, and it has the most beautiful glowy effect. It just, there's a little bit of shimmer, but it is subtle. I do not know if it's actually picking it up. You can kind of see it, I think. But you guys, I'm also about to hit pan. I can see like right there, that little dot. This will be gone soon. I'm gonna use it up. I do like this one a lot. This little sample from Marc Jacobs, this is the Tantastic, but you guys, Marc Jacobs eyeshadow, or Marc Jacobs bronzers are expensive. I just got this in like a little sample pack that I got from TJ Maxx. And I really, really like this. So I am going to keep it. Did I need like a huge ginormous? Cause usually they're like, three times bigger than this. So I think this is the perfect size. This little Hoola Benefit, okay, I had this in two different face palettes from Hoola, and I just don't reach for this because it is super dark on me. This one I am going to give to a friend. It is a nice sample size, so I could travel with it, but I just don't reach for Hoola bronzer like I do my Too Faced. Okay, you guys, and I don't think you need to question this one if you've seen any of my videos. <laughs> this is my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I have hit pan, we're almost to the end, and I will probably repurchase this. It is one of my favorite contour shades. So beautiful. This is in the shade Medium. Love this. I literally just, I use this all the time, every single day. Now we'll go into my MAC ones. So this first one is from the Aaliyah collab. This is Baby Girl. This one is a little bit on the warmer side, but it is really beautiful on the skin. It does have some gold glitter in there, which just gives you that like sun-kissed shiny effect and is beautiful, especially after you set it with setting spray. Mm, it just melts into the skin. This one from the Aladdin collection. This is Your Wish Is My Command. It says it's a powder blush. You guys, this is a bronzer. Look at that. That is a bronzer. Hello. I do love this one. You can obviously see like how much I've used it. It is stunning. I really do like this one. I will keep this one in my collection. Then this one, this is Golden Rinse. Okay, I really thought I was gonna get rid of it, but look at that sheen. It is stunning. I do need to play around with this some more. It was a limited edition, but you guys, it just is beautiful on the skin. So this one's gonna stay as well. And then Patrick Star, this one is in the shade Give Me Life. It is Stunning. It is a little bit darker. I do use this when I have a suntan. I like it because I can build it up. If I just tap in ever so slightly, it will give you just that like rinse of bronze. 
And then if I have a suntan, I can just like build it to what I need it to be. Still super stunning. I do like MAC bronzers. Okay, next we have four right over here that are just random brands that I don't have a lot from. So this first one is from Lancome. This one is the Le French Glow in Light Liberté. Oh, you guys, I didn't know that I needed this bronzer. It is so stunning. Let me see. It's not super dark. It is nice when I don't have a tan and it just has that beautiful sheen on the skin. And if you just wanna stay up here where it's a little bit darker, perfect. If you need to lighten it up, those are really nice as well. So, and then you get the pearlescent shade. Okay, so then this one from Liss, it's in the shade Harmony. This one I got it in a subscription box and I've only used it once. I do wanna try it out some more, so I don't think it's fair to throw it away after only one use. This is a newer brand at Sephora. I think they popped up there at 2021 but I'm interested to see if I like it. So I'm gonna keep using this one. This one from Zoeva, I love this one. So you can just do the bronzer or you can add in the shimmer and get that like glowy effect. This is in the shade Lumi 0.2. This one is stunning, you guys. I haven't used it a lot, but from what I have used, I do enjoy this one. So I'm going to keep this in my collection. And then this one from Iconic London. I got this in a subscription box. This is amazing. There is just so much. Do you see how much I have used this one already? Look at the impressions almost gone. Beautiful bronzer. What's crazy is I don't think I am actually decluttering a lot of my bronzers. <laughs> I really thought I was going to. Now the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. So here's my thing. I do like the Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess bronzer. Um, you're gonna see that I have used this one a lot. I wanna say this is a sample size and I can, actually I can see where it's starting to hit pan. And I really like this one. Oh no, it is still like, I really thought it was gonna be powdery and ready to be thrown away. Never mind. <laughs> you guys, I really thought I was getting rid of this one. And what's crazy is I also have this palette right here, which is the um, chisel palette. I was looking at these and I was kind of like, okay, which one of these is very similar to this? And they're not. They're all different varied shades. I don't know if you can really see like the difference in them, but they are still very nice, very easy to use. The blendability is there. So I'm gonna keep both of these from Tarte. I know that I got rid of my eyeshadow palettes, but Tarte has some nice bronzers. So these ones are going to stay. Okay, you guys, now we're into the creams. These ones I use once in a while. This one actually from Charlotte Tilbury, I just used in my Merit video and it is stunning. This will stay in the collection. It is very beautiful on the skin, it's super easy to blend out. If you want to build it up, you can. I went very light-handed in that Merit video. I can get a more defined contour look if that's what I want. So this one will absolutely be staying in my collection. This LA Girl Pro Conceal, I've had this for a minute. It's probably actually, like I can see it starting to break down. This is expired, so this one's gonna be thrown away. That's not saying this isn't a good contour, like it's a concealer but in this color, it is definitely a beautiful contour. This one from Tarte, this is the Better Bod Bronze and Contour. Why is this in my drawer? I feel like this is like more of a like body contour, not a face contour. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of that. Like I just, I've never reached for this. I didn't even know I had this. It was just in the back of my drawer when I left Chicago. Yeah, I don't know like how I would use that. So I'm gonna throw that one away. Okay, next I have this one from Tristique. Their products are really cool, the concept behind them. So like if you pull this off, there's actually the brush for blending. It's supposed to make it super easy for you to travel with. And then the top is magnetized. This one, I haven't really like, I haven't really like used it a lot, but it is on the warmer side for like 
I just don't use cream contour like bronzing sticks. It's a little bit on the warmer side. This one I am going to let go. I do like cream products for like contouring. Then I have this one from Persona. This is in the shade Dune. It's a bronze multi-stick. Let's see. Oh yeah, that one's not really my shade either. Like. Mm -mm. It's a little yellowy. So this one I'm going to pass on as well. Okay, then I have this. It's the Matchstick from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Amber. This one is just super cool toned. And I love this one for contour. Look at how cool toned that is. Love this one. This is beautiful for contour. And then I will put my powder down and then I'll use like a bronzer. And it does actually have, you can purchase it separately. There is the brush for it. So you can just kind of like blend it out. Super easy. So, and then the coolest thing they, um, then I have this one from Jacqueline. This is in the shade Sandy. You guys, I love this. Under powder, on top of powder, it is phenomenal. Can you see how much I've used? <laughs> there was a point in time where I literally just use this every single day. It is stunning. I also think this was temporary. I don't know if it's still available on her website, but it is a good product. This one from Yenza, this is in Sunlit Glow. I don't know if I've ever used this one. I have. It is really creamy. Um, let's see. It is more on like the orangey yellow side. I'm going to pass on this one. It's just, it's not my favorite. And it feels like kind of like jelly like. It does look like it's drying up on the sides too. It's starting to break away, so. We're going to throw this one away. This one from Huda Beauty. Oh my goodness, you guys. This one's in, this is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in Light. Love this one. And even though it's light, it's still pretty dark. <laughs> you guys, look at that. I do like this one. It is really nice on the skin and I can do this under, under powder, on top of powder. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so then the last group of bronzers, the Cult Classic Butter Bronzer. I have the one in Sunkissed Bronze, which you guys is a little more on like the reddish side, not necessarily like the cult classic we know of the butter bronzer, which this is the regular bronzer. So I'm keeping both of these. I just haven't opened this one up yet because I was in the middle of a move and I was like, mm, we'll just wait. And I used the other one that I had hit pan on. So this is a brand new fresh bronzer. So keeping both of those. Actually, I just swatched the Butter Bronzer and Sunkissed. It is very, like my thumb, my finger is red. It's a little more on the red side. I am gonna get rid of the Sunkissed one just because it's a little more red than I would like, but I will open the fresh Butter Bronzer in Bronzed or in just the shade bronzer. This one is really good and I like the cooler undertone for this one. This one from Milani, this is in the shade Dolce. It has a little bit of like gold reflex in it. It is so beautiful on the skin. I barely made a dent, but I use this all the time. I love this bronzer. This triple baked bronzer in Summer of Love from Makeup Revolution. This is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the sweet tea. It's just very light and I don't think I need it in my collection. It is taking up a lot of room for how chunky it is and it's very, very light. So I'm gonna pass this one on. You guys, I literally just used this the other day. Stunning. This is the Revlon Skin Lights in Prismatic Bronzer. If you want a glowy bronzer, this is it. It is beautiful, so beautiful. Check this one out. I don't know if it's still available, but I love this one. I have three wet and wild ones, which <laughs> do I need them? So this one is the Fantasy Makers bronzer in Dusk to Dawn. This one was really pretty. 
it's a little bit on the warmer side, but I do like it and it was easy to work with. Okay, and then I have these two bronzers from the Color Icon collection. This one is Ticket to Brazil, which was kind of like the cult classic. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, this bronzer is the best. It is a little bit on the warmer side. It does, it does have like that sunlit hue. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. It is nice to have some like drugstore bronzers. And then this one is in Palm Beach Ready. It looks like it's a little more cool toned. Ooh, you guys, can you see that? Yep, we're keeping that one. I really thought I was gonna get rid of one of these. Now I have these two from Morphe. They look like they're in the same packaging, just different colors. This one I just used in a video. It's the Glam Bronze in Originator. It's a really pretty like sun-kissed bronzer. There's a lot in here. I am gonna keep this one. I just used it and I know that I like it. And then this one in Icon, also a Glam Bronze face and body bronzer. This one I like, it is a little bit on the cooler side. So it is nice that like I have both of them. This one's a little bit cooler. This one's a little bit warmer. So there's that like give and take. I'm gonna keep both of those. Then the bronzed bronzer in medium from Juvia's Place, you guys. These are beautiful and I actually mix both of them together to give me like that perfect shade. If I wanna be a little bit cooler, then I've got this one a little bit warmer, but I mix both of them and it is stunning. So I am going to keep this one. And then the Alamar Complexion Trio. This one is really pretty. I do have to mix these two shades. This is actually the medium tan palette. So I do mix these two together. Sometimes I'll just use this one. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna keep it and play around with it some more. Maybe it'll stay in the collection. Maybe it'll de get decluttered later on down the road. But for right now, I really do like the Alamar powder products. You guys, this one, I just decluttered the eyeshadow palette from Cab Cosmetics. When I open this up, you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? This is supposed to be like volume one contour, who am I contouring? If I was super, super, super pale, maybe. Literally, I can't do anything with this. It is too light. So I am going to get rid of this. The shades in here, it goes from really, really warm to like not even there. So it's going away. Okay, you guys, so this is the two drawers of highlighters put into three drawers. You can't see this third one, but you guys, it's ridiculous. And I even have the dividers that some of it's organized in. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull all of this out, kind of break it down and see where we're gonna go with this. But uh, highlighters are my favorite, if you can't tell. So we'll try and make this as painless as possible. Okay, you guys, so we are looking at the highlighters and I had to go back to my artificial lighting because the sun is no longer in front of my house. It was short lived and it is currently like almost above my house. So we're back to studio lights. Now, these are my highlighter palettes, meaning that it is a majority of highlighters in them. And then I also still have face palettes, which I think I'll do at the end uh, because they're all blush, bronzer, and highlighter types. So we're gonna start with the palettes. Then I think creams go into my affordable and drugstore and then into a little bit more, not like high end. I mean, there's a couple. They're not as affordable as a drugstore. We'll just put it that way. Granted, I do have palettes for a lot of these brands, but I also have individuals for a lot of these brands, so. <laughs> We're gonna get through this. All right, we'll start out with this one right here. This is the MAC one from one of the holiday collections. This is the Flashing Ice Extra Dimension Skin Finish Trio. This is the medium deep. I honestly purchased this and then never used it. And it's pretty. So these two gold shades are very beautiful. And then actually, I wanna say this is more like a blush topper. I do wanna keep this and play around with it because I never did get the opportunity, granted, I'll never be able to like do a video with it, but it is a lot of fun. So I don't want to throw it away just yet. Then I have the Hyper Real Glow. This one, I don't remember what shade it is. I know that I got rid of the gold one last time. This one has lighter shades in it. And you guys, it's just, it's stunning. I feel like I'm gonna be like that prismatic highlighter on my hands today. This one I'm gonna keep, it is still buttery and smooth. It's not powdery. I just like the application. 
and it has some really pretty shades in here that can be mixed or just used by themselves. I just forget about these ones. Sticking with MAC, I also have this four pan. One, the packaging is stunning, you guys. This is the Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. This has four different shades in here. This one right here has kind of like a duo shift. And then this icy white is really pretty. And I feel like this pinky shade is really pretty as far as like a blush topper or just a blush in general. And then this peachy shade. Maybe this should have just been in the face palette. <laughs> But you guys, those four shades, beautiful. So I'm gonna keep those as well. Okay, this one from Smashbox. This is the Spotlight Palette in Pearl. I wanna say this was a collab with one, I forgot which YouTuber it is. I'll think of it later. But this was a collab with her. And these are really pretty, kind of powdery. I don't know how I feel about it. Like this one is definitely the one that I would go to. But it's not as like buttery smooth as my MAC ones and I just don't reach for it. So I am going to pass this one on. All right, so next I have this Prisma Glow. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. I got this in a subscription box. So this shade right here is like a skin gloss, which is just weird. I haven't used it. Um, I'm interested to see like, ooh, that is. All right, so that's where I swatched it. That is quite interesting. Maybe I will try that out. But then like this highlighter right here, beautiful. And then this pinky shade, oh, you guys. So I am gonna keep this, I'm gonna try it out, give it a fair shot because I really haven't used or reached for this palette. Okay, we'll get this one on the way real quick because I know I'm not getting rid of it. This is the Ofra Glow Up. I know I just got that big face palette. I do like this. I dropped it so it smashed to smithereens. This one is no longer with us, but I like it because it is magnetic so I can pull the tray out I can replace it with a smaller one if I wanted to. This is my favorite shade, Blissful, which I have a big one now. And then I can't remember this one, but this one all blended together is really beautiful. Just oh, look at that, you guys. I am going to keep this palette and then I'm going to look at my individual ones. And if I have them in individual containers, I'll get rid of the individual ones, but keep the palettes. Then I have this one from it's the Crush On You. These are the Super Shock highlighters, which still beautiful. They're still very beautiful and I love how they look on the skin. Look just how wet they look. And even in the palette, they're not dried out or anything. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one in Dream Sequence. Ooh, see, these are just glittery and beautiful. Like, look at that you guys. That one does feel like it's a little dried out. I am going to keep it because I do like these three shades right here. Then I have another ColourPop one. This is Creme de la Creme. This one I haven't really used. I mean, I've used it a little bit. These are powdery, not the Super Shock formula. And they're pretty, but I like the other ones better. So I am going to get rid of this one. Okay, then I have this one. This is from Kat Von D when it was still Kat Von D and not KVD. This is the Alchemist Holographic Palette. I bought this, I swatched it. I never ended up using it, you guys. They still feel buttery and smooth. And this is what makes it hard to get rid of because those on top of just a plain old Jane eyeshadow will change the color and it can be used as a highlighter. <sighs> I thought I was getting rid of this, you guys. I really just need to play around with it because that is stunning. So like this one is a blue to teal, this one is purple, this one is pinky, and then this one is like a goldy yellow. Look at those, oh, you guys. <laughs> then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild. See, this gives me the same vibes as like the KVD one. So let's see, Lucky Clover, ooh, or this one in purple. See, but I just literally got rid of, or kept the Alchemist one, you guys. 
I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of the Kat Von D one. This one's an awkward shape. It only has four and this has six in here. So I'm gonna keep the Moonchild and pass this on to a friend. Then the Aurora palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are really pretty, just icy and beautiful. So you've got Spectra. That one's also really pretty. See, and they have different shifts and tones as the moon child. So I'm also gonna keep this one. Okay, let's hop into Huda Beauty. This one, you guys, I just got this in 2021. The packaging is weird. <laughs> I will say that, like, what is going on? Like, it's, it's interesting. But I do like that it is a little quad of highlighters. They are really buttery smooth. There is, I wanna say there's like four different or two different shades to this. This one is the Light Glow Obsessions. Beautiful on the face. And I do reach for this a lot, especially if I'm gonna travel, then it gives me four different shades to play around with and to mix around, as well as an inner corner highlight. Now the 3D highlighter palette, I don't even know if this is still available. And I wanna say I got this at TJ Maxx. It's supposed to have one of those like glow it's just that's weird but those three shades are really pretty and then the one that's kind of like a blush topper is stunning so i am gonna keep this i don't know if it's still available but it's gonna stay in my collection for right now kimchi drama queen this palette it's really pretty the highlighters are stunning i've used these two a lot but i don't reach for colored highlighters that often like i just they're just not my vibe. I do like these two, but I can't save a whole palette when I'm only gonna use two of the six shades. So this one is going to go to a friend. The Morphe Babe in Paradise. This is from a collab with Bretman Rock. Very pretty shades. I've used this one a little bit, but they're kind of powdery. They're, they're not like, Amazing. I'm gonna let this one go. Then I have another one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Glow Kit. You guys, these shades are stunning. I do mix these up a little bit. Um, this one, White Sand, is beautiful. Still buttery and smooth. Just a beautiful highlighter mixed with the lighter shade and you get more of a champagne pop. A little bit deeper when you have a suntan. These shades right here are stunning. If you want, like maybe you have a flat matte bronzer and you wanna like amp it up a little bit, these shades are nice and dark so you could just do like a bronzer topper or just sun kissed on the shoulders if you have a nice suntan. But this one I do like so I am going to keep that one. As well as this one from Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills, this was a reboot, I think. They recollabed. I can't remember the backstory on this one, but it is a beautiful highlighter palette you guys I love this all the shades look great on my skin uh, it doesn't matter like how light or dark your skin is like it looks good on anyone okay living my best light from Beauty Bay this brand super affordable I talked about it in the eyeshadow palette go and check out Beauty Bay these stunning I really love these shades and the price point, you guys. Like, look how wet and juicy it looks on my fingers. You guys, I look like a freaking disco ball just swatching all these highlighters. <laughs> this one, you guys, from Beauty Bakery. I actually just had two of them, so I had given one away in my giveaway for the fall winter time frame. These are beautiful. They are so buttery and smooth, just ugh, give off the most beautiful shimmer. And this peachy one, I could use as a blush topper for my peachy blushes, but they are stunning, you guys. So I am gonna keep this one in my collection. Okay, same disclaimer I made when I did my eyeshadow declutter and I got to Jeffree Star. Don't be mean down in the comments. I get it. Everyone has their opinions of Jeffree Star as a person, but we're here for the makeup. This first one is the Platinum Ice Skin Frost Pro Palette. You cannot deny the quality of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and their palettes, eyeshadow or highlighter otherwise. Those shades are stunning. I am going to keep them in my collection. Then the Brain Freeze Pro Palette. These shades are a little bit interesting. When I saw them, I was kind of like, mm, 
but when you blend that one together it's just kind of like that icy ice or icy yellow with a peachy and then you have cold shoulder which has kind of a weird shift to blue you have this pink which is beautiful on top of like a blush and statuesque i don't know that i'm going to gravitate towards that one the rest of the shades in here are beautiful including that orangey shade cocky it is really pretty over a blush okay so then we have the last one from jeffree star this is northern lights the packaging is kind of bulky the formula in here is phenomenal those four swatched are stunning so i am going to keep this i'm not a fan of the packaging maybe i'll learn to live with it but for right now it's going to stay in my collection i just <sighs> packaging is so clunky okay you guys now we have kind of like the creams and gelish type of ones this one right here this is the incredible it's kind of like a like jelly type of consistency and it has an iridescence to it i don't know that it's really like picking it up it's just i'm gonna get rid of this one i've had it for a minute i've barely ever used it i just don't reach for like that glow jelly type of thing. So this one I'm going to throw away. This one from Milk, this is in the shade Lit. Um, this is one of those cream highlighters. It kind of shows up, it's just, I don't know, like, I don't feel like I should have to work that hard for a highlighter. So I'm going to throw this one away. I think I've had it for a minute. It has been open for a while. Then this one is the UB or Universal Beauty in True Glow. It's a skin illuminating stick. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe it was a subscription box. That one just feels dry. So that one's gonna go away. Then I have Jolie Cosmetics. It doesn't have a shade. It's just like a stick. Ooh, that's Kind of pretty it's an interesting shade let's see does it like i don't know it's not really my shade for highlighter though so i'm gonna get rid of it this one from merit if you saw my video you guys know how stunned i was at this glow highlighter it is so stunning it's like a glow balm it was so beautiful on the skin i am gonna keep this one I loved this one. I was actually really surprised at the end of the video how beautiful it looked under my uh, setting powder and then on top of it. This one from XX Revolution, I was not a fan. This is in the shade Haze, you guys. It's so chunky and like, it was not easy to manage. This one I'm going to throw away. The Skin Gloss in Golden Dew from Dominique Cosmetics. I just had this in one of the palettes and this is brand new. I haven't actually like gotten into it. So I don't want to swatch this, but I will see if one of my friends want it. Then there is the Dolce Diva Glam Cushion Highlighter. <laughs> you guys, if you saw the video, like I was not a fan of this. It's literally like they're trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury. Can you see? It's kind of picking up. It's like getting a glare from the camera. It was like they were trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury, but they weren't doing a good job of it. It's just, it's interesting. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, you guys, we're trying to play with the lighting here because it needs something dark to focus on. Otherwise it lightens up the, like I, the lighting is weird. This has like a weird highlighting tip that's just kind of like, a jelly consistency but it's darker than it needs to be on my skin tone and then there is like glow liquid that I haven't opened up so I'm gonna try this out it's in the shade celestial I just I don't know why I've never really reached for it so I'm gonna do some research and see but it hasn't been opened up yet it says it's good for a for 12 months once it's opened so I will look into this and then see. Then I have this liquid glow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Oyster. This is a beautiful liquid highlighter. I'll put it on the back of my hand and then I like will tap, tap, tap it into my cheek and it just has a really pretty highlight. But this one is gonna stay in my collection for right now. It's one of the few liquid highlighters that I have kept. Then I have this one from Flesh, which is really pretty and pinky. 
the packaging is playing with my lighting, you guys. But it just has that like really pretty champagne-y pink shade. So I am gonna keep this one as well. And then this one from About Face. I felt some sort of way when I tried this one. This is in the shade Fight or Flight. This is the Light Lock Highlight Liquid. You take the lid off and then you still have a squeezy tube. But then when you place it on the skin, like if you don't actually like work with it quickly, it just, it stays. So I'm gonna try this out a little bit more. I've only used it that one video that I had. Okay, you guys, it might seem a little bit darker, but it's because I opened my blinds to see if we can let some of the natural sunlight in and finish this up before my lighting goes beyond chaos. I have these ones right here where I only have one from each of the brands, but there's some good ones in here. There's some that I'm just like, all right, it's time to let them go. So we're gonna see what we can do. So this one is from Kiko Milano. This was a limited edition for the holidays. This is sparking, Sparkling Holiday back in, I want to say 18. It's a really pretty highlighter. There's not tons of product in here, which is nice, but it's just one of those like really pretty gold shades. It's not my color, so I am going to pass this on. Then I have the Kaja Mochi Glow. This was in a subscription box. This is in the shade Toy Alien. It is really pretty, but it's also very subtle for me. I could wear this to work, but like it literally... <laughs> disappeared. I don't know where it went. So this one I'm going to pass on to a friend. This one from Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Highlight 01. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. It is very light. It's interesting. It's just like super powdery. You guys, like, it's just not my favorite. So we're going to let this one be free. This one from Jouer, it is super beautiful. I don't even want to flip it over. This is in the shade Funfetti. When I got this, it was already like exploded everywhere. And as cute as it is, I don't reach for it because it's just a mess. So I'm going to just finally let it be free and throw it away. The palette's cute, like the container for it, but an exploded highlighter is not pretty all over the floor. Okay, so then this one from KKW Beauty. This one is in the shade Tempting, which is really pretty and icy. It does feel really powdery. I'll keep it. I'll try it out again. This one from Dose of Colors. This is the Desi X Katie Fuego. This highlighter is stunning stunning you guys i love this um the packaging is a lot of fun and then the highlighter is beautiful the kinder glow highlighter palette this one it's interesting so this one is just like white with like a green hue this one is yellow like i just i'm not a fan of the consistency how powdery it is so this one I'm going to pass on. This one from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox and Vlada um, in Rosemantic. You guys, this is stunning. I couldn't let myself like get rid of it last time. And I'm probably gonna keep it again just because this is beautiful and it is so nice over a blush. So I'm gonna keep this one. Then I have this one from Cover FX. This is actually three different shades. I like that it has the stoppers so that you can just kind of sift out what you want. These are stunning. So I have it in Moonlight, Rose Gold, and Celestial. I absolutely love this. My favorite one is Celestial. I use that one for my brow bone and inner corner highlight. Stunning. And then the other two shades I will mix for a highlighter. Then I have the Jennifer Lopez and Inglot. You guys, I bought this when I was in London. This is in the shade Radiant. Beautiful. I will not let this go, you guys. And JLo is known for a beaming highlight. Look at that, you guys, look. Obviously, it's not still available. I would recommend it if you could, but I was really surprised that they they had only two left in stock when I bought it, and I'm glad I got my hands on it. You don't really hear a lot about Inglot, and their store was amazing. I need to reach for that one some more. Like, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, then we have Becca's Champagne Pop. Obviously, I am keeping this in my collection. It still feels buttery and smooth. It's one of the first highlighters that I purchased. And you know what? I didn't purchase it as a highlighter. I purchased it to wear it as an eyeshadow. <laughs> so this is actually my second or third one. But I'm going to keep this one. It is, it is uh, 
a throwback. It is a lot darker. Like, okay, so this is the Champagne Pop and this is the Inglot Just Jennifer Lopez one. Like, look at the difference, you guys. Boy, I have highlighters evolved. Then we have the Benefit Cookie. I do not have this in one of my face palettes. So this one I'm going to keep because I bought it individually just for this shade. It is so icy and beautiful. You guys, I will keep this one. Juvia's Place. Oh my goodness, their loose highlighters are phenomenal. I absolutely love this one. It's in the shade Cleo. It's the only one that I have from Juvia's Place and it is worth it. It is so icy and beautiful. I use this in the inner corner. I use it on the brow bone, all over highlight. It is stunning, you guys. The Pure X Barbie highlighter. <laughs> Look at that highlighter. And honestly, I only use these two because I'm on the fairer side, but if you're on like a deeper skin tone, you could definitely mix it, but look at that. And with the natural sunlight you guys coming in, just look at that beam. We're going to place that one right there. Do you see that? You guys, I'm gonna be a disco ball tonight. Next I have from Stila, this is the Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. It's kind of like a like putty type but it is beautiful, it melts into the skin. This is one of those, I guess it could have been in the jelly or liquid like type of, but this consistency is stunning, you guys. Do you just see that? Oh. Flush, this one is very subtle and it's, this is in the shade Certain. When I bought this, I was like, ooh, this is really pretty. And then I was kind of like, why did I buy this? It's very powdery. I have highlighters that I like more. Like, next to the JLo, it just doesn't compare. You guys, do you see it? If you want like a very subtle highlighter, go for it. It's beautiful for someone who doesn't want that beaming highlight. It's from a brand called Flash. It looks like your skin. It's just, it's not my type of highlighter. Like, compared to the ones that I've been using, so I'm gonna let this one be free and go to a friend. This one from JD Glow, I have talked about this multiple times. It is an indie brand, go check them out. Their highlighters are phenomenal. This is in the shade Essence. You guys, look. I use this so much and I picked up a ton of it, but look at the, compared to the one that I just decluttered from Flesh, so different, just so icy and beautiful. Look look how the sun just grabs it, you guys. <gasps> yes. Go check out JD Glow. <sighs> Amazing. All right, next, you guys, I have this one from Melt. This is the Illumination. It has a really cool, like, skull press in it, and this highlighter is just something else. It has, like, an interesting pinky gold shift. Love this one. I'm keeping that. Then this one from KVD, this is Metal Crush in Gold School. I kept this last time and I was like, oh yeah, I'll probably reach for it. I have literally never reached for it. It is really powdery and super icy white. It's pretty, I just, I don't think I'll actually use it and I haven't used it since I decluttered last time. Then this one from Wander Beauty. This is in the shade After Hours. This one is really pretty, but I don't remember, like it's buttery and smooth. I think I've used it a couple times and I did like it. I just can't remember. There you go. I just have to get the sun just right. I'm gonna keep this one, you guys. This one from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Golden Hour. I do like Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. This one is just very icy and juicy, and I love Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, and this is the only highlighter I have from them, so I'm gonna keep this one. Next, the quad from Dior. This is in Universal 001. First off, it's my only Dior palette. <laughs> But these shades are really pretty. I use the white and the more champagne-y shade. The pink one I could probably use as like a blush topper. And then this bronzy one if I wanted to like illuminate my bronzer. But I do like this Dior palette. It is a lot of fun to use. This one from Marc Jacobs. This was a holiday release. It's got that same packaging as the eyeshadow palette that I had in my eyeshadow declutter. This is in Showstopper. And you guys, does anyone need this much highlighter? But it is 
so stunning and beautiful. It's just that icy pinky shade. So I am going to keep that. Then we have this one from Ciate London. This is in Confetti. You guys, look how fun that is. It's just kind of like a really pretty champagne shade. So I am gonna keep this one. And then this little diamond and glow from Natasha Denona, like the lighting is combating me right now, but it is such a cute little like package. And then you have this pinky shade and the glittery topper. And really I would say that this is more like a pinky highlight with the diamond topper for it. So this one I'm gonna keep as well. It's beautiful. Okay, you guys, now we're into more of our affordable highlighters. These are the ones that you'll find at the drugstore or the drugstore side of Ulta or like Glam Lights, not really, I wouldn't say drugstore because you're not going to find it there, but they are pretty affordable and I like their makeup. We'll just group it all together. We'll start right here with Physician's Formula. So this one is Rose All Day. It's really pretty. It's kind of got like that pinky shift, but it is really powdery. It's just not one of my favorite formulas, um, especially because I do have two other highlighters from Physician's Formula. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. These two, so this one is the Pink Rose. You guys, this one is just so buttery and smooth. I am keeping that one. And then this one in Rose Gold. So it's a little bit lighter than the rose shade, which I did keep on my finger. So there's the two of them together. Stunning. Found at the drugstore, you guys. Beautiful. So this one from Glam Light, this is the Pina Colada, which is really pretty and icy. So I am gonna keep this one. This one in Mimosa, it's pretty, but it's just very yellowy gold. So I'm going to pass this one on. Then I have this one from Flower Beauty. This is the Pyramids in Rose Glow. This one is just so buttery and smooth, you guys, and mixed together, it is stunning. Amazing, you guys. This baked tri blend highlighter. This is from Barry M. I picked this one up in London. Also, super buttery and smooth. You wouldn't think that a blue highlighter bit would come off as icy as it does. We'll just put that one right there. Super icy, beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. Okay, we'll go with these two from Maybelline. So this Master Chrome in Molten Rose Gold, this one is beautiful, you guys. I absolutely love this highlighter. It gets so much love from the drugstore, so good. I am gonna keep this one. And then even this collab with Puma, this is in the shade Knockout. Also beautiful and it has an interesting like duochrome like pinky gold shift stunning wow you guys i really just had to clear out this entire area for it to focus this is the coca-cola and morphe collab it's just kind of like a weird gold highlighter and i didn't really get into it it's super powdery so this one I am going to pass on to a friend. And then I also have this one from Morphe. This is in the shade Spark. I did really like this one when I purchased it. It is just a really pretty like champagne-y shade. So I am gonna keep this one. Okay, you guys, now I have some Wet n Wild. I do have <laughs> a lot. First off, this is the Wet n Wild highlighter in I'm So Lit. It's a loose highlighter. If you just saw my shot, my stash, I use this again and still love it. So I'm keeping that in my collection, no brainer. Then I have this loose highlighter from, was this a collab with Bretman Rock? Yes, this is in Jungle Rock. And there's actually two different shades, if you can see it. So there's more of like a rose gold on this side and then a champagne shade. And it is cool because the the sifters are like separated. I just don't remember like how I felt about it. So here's that rose gold, ooh, that is a really pretty shift. And then the champagne side of it. See, and Wet n Wild does beautiful highlighters. So I am gonna keep this one. Then I have these two from Fantasy Makers. This one right here is more of like a corally pink. 
it's really pretty. This is in the shade Flash Me. I got this in like the summertime when I got here from Chicago. Love this one. And then also this one in Halo Effect. Also very beautiful. I love me some wet and wild highlighters. Like next is the one, this one's Blossom Glow. Ugh, you guys, this highlighter is stunning. Just beautiful. It's just that icy white shade. And it's still so buttery smooth. The sun, you guys, it is something else today. Okay, you guys. So, <laughs> so I kind of lost my lighting and I've been messing with the studio lights trying to fix it. This one from Wet n Wild is really quite interesting. It's kind of showing up, but not really. This is the Winter Falls in LA. It kind of has an iridescent like blue to it like it's just there you go how white it is it's just it's it's muting out in with the lighting because of a highlight it's like absorbing the light it's pretty it's just not one that I'm going to keep it's got an interesting imprint in it which you can kind of see there but you guys like I'm going to let this one go then I have this one there's two of them. There's the Hello Halo, which have like the pinky blush topper type of shades and then the highlighter shades. So I have this one in After Sex Glow, which is beautiful, you guys. So I am gonna keep this one. We're gonna be playing around with some lighting here because this is killing me. But it is really gorgeous. The peachy shade and then the champagne-y like highlight is stunning. And then highlight bling. This one is more of a pinky and icy white highlighter, but they're beautiful. So I'm gonna keep those as well. Next I have the one from NYX. This is the Born to Glow. You guys, this packaging is just reflecting everything. <laughs> this highlighter is just icy and glittery. Like it's just absorbing the light, it's so weird. Buttery and smooth, and then you have the like glitter topper, kind of like the Fenty Diamond Bomb. Super beautiful, I am gonna keep this one. Okay, next you guys, I have the Love You So Mochi palette. So these shades are beautiful. I only bought this like a year ago, and just look at those highlights, you guys. Still icy and juicy. I do like NYX, so I'm going to keep this one. You can never have too many drugstore palettes. Okay, now you guys, I have my ColourPop. <laughs> you guys, there's just so many. All right, so we'll start with these ones back here, which, so first off, I've got these loose highlighters. This one I just got, it's in the shade In The Groove. This is the one from the Roaring Hearts palette, or collection, and it is really pretty and icy and just champagne-y. Stunning, you guys. So I am going to keep that one. All right, we're back to individual ones because it doesn't want to focus today. So this one was in the shade Chisme. This one is just very gold and champagne-y and it is stunning. And then this one was Princessa. This one has kind of like an iridescent. It's kind of like that like white iridescent shade kind of a pinky shift. So this one's pretty, it's just not like something I'm gonna gravitate towards, so I am gonna get rid of this one. Then I have my Super Shock Shadows. You guys, these are gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to get rid of because they're stunning. So there are nine of them. So this one I just had in the blush drawer. It's not a blush. It's kind of like that like pinky shift to iridescence. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I think that's gonna be really pretty on the skin in the summer. So let me look at the ones that are very similar. So this one is super icy. This one's flexitary. No, it's not. This one's on the cusp. This one's very similar. These have like similar color stories than these two, and then these are on their own. All right, this one is flexitarian. Okay. This one I cannot get rid of, you guys. Like, look how icy that is. So Flexitarian stays. This one is a cold classic. It's actually really hard to get a hold of. On the cusp, you guys, I think this was a collab with Kathleen Lights. This one is beautiful. Like, 
Ooh, look at that. I just love Super Shock Shadows. They perform amazingly. So this one is A Smile and a Song. And then this is Happy Thoughts. Mm, highlighter is my happy thought, you guys. That one is beautiful as well. It's just kind of like that pinky champagne -y shade. All right, so those are the ones that I gravitate towards the most. These two are from the Biddy collab. This one is Glow Burst. Mm, it's not my favorite. It's, it's pretty, it's just that one's gonna go away. And then this one is Frosty, which it feels nice. They're very similar, um, but they're both gonna go far, far away. I say far, far away, probably to a friend's house. And then we have Part of Your World. This is part of the Princess Disney collab. Ooh, so beautiful. And then of course, Goody Two Shoe, which oh, it's just so buttery and smooth. It is a little more on the gold side, but it is nice to have a gold highlighter so I am going to keep that one as well. Okay, you guys, now I have the Disney designer. This is from the Masquerade collab. So these are the four Disney princesses. This one with Cinderella is by far my favorite. I already know it. This one is Horse and Carriage. Look how stunning, you guys. The gold is not helping with my lighting. But that is my go-to shade, so we're gonna keep that one. Then there's Andalasia which is kind of like a rose gold. And it's really pretty as well. Gonna keep that one probably. Then there is Coronation. Ooh, this one is also. See, this one's a little cool toned. And then this one is Big Tough Girl. Oh, I am not keeping purple. It's pretty, it has an interesting like shift. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure. And then I'm also gonna get rid of Coronation. You guys, last time I kept all the villains. Why do I need all six of them? I don't, that's the answer, I don't. Now, they have some crazy colors in here. Look at the packaging though. Ha, huh, you guys, stunning packaging, just that neon electric sign vibe. All right, so this first one is Hades. He's just yellow, you guys. There is no way. He is a super shock highlighter. It is a pink to yellow like shift. Hades, I love you, but you're not going to stay. Then there is Evil Queen. Oh, she's even more yellow, you guys. Yeah, honey, you're going away too. Then there is Dr. Facilier. He is orange, like an orange bronzy shade. You guys, you cannot deny like they are beautiful. Like if I was darker, these like these two would be beautiful on the skin. And actually I'm kind of second guessing Hades. Like I kind of want to keep him. So these two for sure, Hades is a maybe. There is Ursula, which she's purple. Come on. I just got rid of a purple highlighter. So we'll swatch her on the pinky. Yeah, I don't need her. And then Maleficent. She's <laughs> obviously been loved. One of my favorites. That is just that icy champagne -y shade. She gets to stay. I'll keep her in Hades. And then there is Cruella, which is just an icy white. And you guys, like... She goes to red, actually. She goes like a bluish red. So I'm gonna keep her. Those three will stay. So I kept... Cruella, Maleficent, and Hades. And then I'm gonna get rid of Ursula, Dr. Facilier, and the Evil Queen. You guys, I feel like I'm actually doing pretty good with the highlighter declutter. So then I have like Soul Body, which is a brand of ColourPop, and then ColourPop Big Highlighters. Do I need these big ones? Probably not, but we're gonna try them out anyways. So this first one is Champagne Bubbles. The packaging is awkward to get open, you guys. This one is just kind of like a gold shade. Oh, it's still really pretty though. Look at that. I'm gonna hold on to that one for right now. Then there's the Barbie and ColourPop. This is Beach Party. Ooh, see, and I think I like Beach Party more than Champagne Bubbles. 
So this one, it's going to stay in Champagne Bubbles. It's going to go away. Then this one is Your Catch. ColourPop, we need to talk. Why does it feel like I'm trying to break into my own makeup? This one is Your Catch. Ooh, I like this one and the Barbie one. Like those two are going to stay. Yeah, so this one's a little more champagne-y. This one's a little more on the white. Beautiful. Then this one is Pink Truffle. Beautiful. I did I did wipe off champagne bubbles before I swatched that one. That is just so beautiful. I'm going to keep that one as well. Then I have the Rudolph from Soul Body. Okay, so those four are really stunning. And that one is in Jingle Jingle Jingle. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. And this last one, this is Catwalk. This was their more recent. Ooh, you guys, look at all right, so these five I'm going to keep. The ones from Soul Body and ColourPop. Okay, now I have this Face Glow palette from Milani. And you guys, it is absolutely stunning. This is in the Luminoso Glow. Beautiful. I am going to keep this. I do always need like a highlighting palette from the drugstore. I know, I just kept a whole bunch of them. Don't come at me. Um, but I do like playing around with Milani Cosmetics. Like, their makeup is stunning. Okay, then I have three from Revolution. Um, this first one is the Rose Gold Glow. And honestly, when I look at this, because it's got the drips in there like Kylie, that's what it reminds me of. But it's just so powdery. And you guys, I just... Uh, I cannot, like, I don't want to keep these. Then I have the Rose Gold Bar. That feels so buttery and smooth, but it just does not, like, it doesn't have the color payoff that, like, I would want. So I'm also going to get rid of that one. And then this is the collab with Soph. This is the Cookies and Cream. And it's really pretty. To be honest, like, I only... The one on my pinky is beautiful and it's buttery smooth. The one on my thumb, it's this one right here. And it's interesting, it's kind of powdery. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more. This is a little cool toned, but I'm just, I'm not completely sure. I did just recently purchase this, so I'm gonna see what I think. Okay, and then I have this one from CoverGirl. This is the Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert. But this one's really pretty. It does have like a blush topper, a champagne shade, and then a lighter white shade. So I am gonna keep this one. I do really like this. I've used it a couple different times. And I enjoy it. And then you guys, we need to talk about the Revlon Skin Lights. I talked about the bronzer and it was phenomenal. This, you guys, one look at it, it looks like dragon scales. But that highlighter is stunning. That is what I would expect from like a high-end highlighter. It's beautiful. So that one is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Okay, you guys, now we have some Urban Decay. And we'll start with this one, which is the Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin. This is an eight hour powder highlighter. So is it gonna evaporate after eight hours? <laughs> this one I have honestly never reached for. It feels really powdery. I do like Urban Decay, but it's just not like, it's not a highlighter that like I reach for. It's okay, it's just not my favorite, so I'm gonna pass this one on. Okay, then I also have the Space Powder, which, can we look at, this? like, this packaging is cute. It's very interesting and intricate. This feels dry and powdery, so I feel like it's lived its last leg, and I'm just gonna throw this one away. Okay, next I have Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This first one is in the shade Money Honey. This is the Su Supreme Frost. It has like a green hue to it, which is actually really interesting. Who knows if I'll need like a greenish highlighter on camera. It kind of looks sickly. <laughs> I know I got rid of some colored highlighters earlier, but you never know when you might need some colored highlighters. I'll keep a couple, so we'll keep this one for right now. 
And then another Supreme Frost in Frozen Peach. This one feels like kind of powdery, not as like buttery smooth as the other one. I am gonna let this one go. Like the green one was interesting. This one just feels like it's a little dried out and maybe like outlived its life. And I do have two, three palettes from Jeffree Star, so I'll keep those. And then I have the Skin Frost in Siberian Gold, which who needs this big <laughs> a highlighter palette, you guys? That is really pretty. So I will keep that one as well. Okay, next you guys, I have three of the Loose Artist Couture and then also the Brick. So this one is in Sex Pose, which you guys, this was one of the first Artist Couture highlighters that I bought. It is phenomenal. It's just kind of like that rose gold with a champagne undertone. Stunning, it stays. Then I have Purple Dream. This one came in one of my subscription boxes and this one actually has like an interesting shift. Like it's yellow with a purple shift and it just looks so juicy on the skin. This one I will keep as well. I probably won't get rid of any of my Artist Couture to be honest. Then this one is in Rosé and it's just a little bit darker but has that beautiful like rose gold shade oh you guys so icy and then illuminati which is just such a stunning like all over the skin champagne glow Ooh. beautiful if you've never tried these out go check them out they're at sephora okay next you guys we're gonna do some jacqueline cosmetics okay i have three of the loose ones and then i have these two these all came out around the same like holiday collection and then this one was the most recent one from the summer so this is in the shade skylight i actually wanted a different shade but it was sold out so this is the one that i got and it is beautiful you guys so buttery and smooth oh, and it's beautiful on the skin then i have these two like brick highlighters this one is in flurries which beautiful and then this one is in twinkle which is just kind of like an icy white Ooh, you guys so I'm gonna keep both of those as well. And then I have the loose ones in three different shades. So this one is in Light Show, which you guys look at the glittery yumminess. So that one is staying. Then All Lit Up, it's just so glittery. And because of how light it is, the lighting is just messing with it. It's just a beautiful like champagne-y like pinky shade. And then this one in I'm So Lit. It's a little bit on the darker side, especially if I have a suntan, this will be stunning. And I love these for on the shoulders. The collarbone, just beautiful. Then we have some Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have four of the loose ones, and then I have, of course, the cult classic from Amrezy. This one is in Snowflake. I don't know if it's even gonna pick up. It is just icy white, like, can you even see that? This one I do like to mix with the darker shade to just kind of tune it down a little bit. This one is So Hollywood. This one's a little bit darker than Vegas, but when I got my BoxyCharm subscription with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I had Vegas in mine. So I ended up giving that one away, but you guys, these are amazing. They look beautiful on the skin. Also, I love to do just the shoulders, the collarbones when they're exposed like it's just beautiful on the skin and then this one in peach fizz i like as a blush topper it's just kind of like that pinky peachy shade and once you put your blush on dip a little bit into this swirl it around on top and your blush will just look amazing and of course you guys the amrezy 
highlighter. This one is my favorite when I'm not filming and I don't <laughs> have to feel bad that you guys can't get this one. I use this all the time and I still haven't made a dent. Like it literally is just barely wearing away, but it is beautiful. I wore this most of the holidays this year when I was down in Florida. It was stunning. Then we have some from Too Faced. So I have this little heart-shaped one. This is the Too Faced Love Light highlighter in Blinded by the Light. It's just like an icy white shade and it kind of looks like that like cushion diamond <laughs> effect. It's still very like smooth and buttery. It's not super powdery and I really love this highlighter. Then I have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. This one is very interesting because you have the light shade, you've got the pink shade, you can mix them together and just get a really pretty effect. Then I have this ice cream palette. This is the Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette with Vanilla, Strawberry, and Chocolate. You guys, these highlights are stunning. And the package, oh, it smells so, so good. Look at the little ice cream, dude. This one is staying in my collection. It is just super cute and fun. And look at that. It's so cute. Then I have this one. This is the Turn Up the Light highlighting palette. So you've got glow, you've got dazzle, you've got soft focus. So depending on how beaming you want your highlighter, soft focus, not too bad, it's just subtle. I will never reach for that one. I don't know why it's so big. I would rather like Dazzle be the bigger one. Then you have Glow and then Dazzle, which I will put on top of Glow. So next I have Fenty. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Sandcastle. You guys, I got this as a sample in one of my like little purchases. I think I got it as like a gloss bomb and highlighter, which perfect duo. This is by far one of my favorites. I love to travel with it. Have you, do you see the divot in there, you guys? Ah, uh, it's stunning. I didn't even need a big one of the Kilowatt highlighters. I feel like these are the perfect size for highlighters for me because we're not even gonna talk about my highlighter addiction. Then we have the how many carrots in the diamond bomb? It's just so icy white, but you guys, this highlighter, look at that. It's just so wet and juicy. This is like a highlighter topper, honestly. Like, And then I also have it in Hollow At Me. This was like a special release a couple years ago. You can't really tell, but it's got like that red shift. Both of those are still Stunning. Okay, so let's talk about some MAC highlighters. So this one is the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I thought I was decluttering this last time and I didn't and it's still stunning. Like, look at that. It does look like a mess though. It looks like it exploded everywhere, but it is just so juicy and icy and beautiful on the skin. So it stays. Then I have the Aladdin collection. This was always one jump ahead. This powder, you guys, beautiful. It is a little more on the gold side, so it is perfect for when I have like a suntan. This one is in Snow Flushed. This is so beautiful. Look at it. It goes between like gold and pink. Oh, that was a special release for the holidays. It is absolutely stunning. This one was another holiday collection. This is in Here Comes Joy, and I used so much of this. I love highlighters, if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> All right, then I have this one from Patrick Star. This is in the shade Hot and Heavy. If I remember correctly, it's a little bit darker for me and I just don't reach for it. And as much as I wanna keep it in my collection, I feel like it's only fair to let it go. This one, you guys, <laughs> funny story, I purchased this one and this is in the shade Double Gleam. I did not look at it. I just looked at the fact that it was part of a collection. I was like, there's no way they're gonna reboot something that and put it in a different packaging. They do it all the time. Mac is notorious for that. Um, but I bought this one and then I went and ordered it again. And when I received it, I was like, 
I'm an idiot. So I did obviously keep this one because it has this really cool dragon pattern in it, which was for Chinese New Year. Double Gleam is a cult classic. It is stunning. I use this all the time. And even with the imprint in there, you cannot tell that I have used it. It is absolutely stunning you guys so i did actually pass on the other double gleam to a friend i sent her a box of makeup and stuff last time i decluttered and she got the double gleam in that okay you guys this massive patrick star this is in the shade baby it's gold outside yes i said gold not cold this one is beautiful because you can just do a little bit and it's light and it's just like that champagne shade or you can go heavy and build it up and it's more of like a gold. This is a beautiful highlighter and I will not be letting it go anytime soon. And there's just so much. Like I'm literally not gonna go through all of this in my lifetime. Then you guys, Philip and David, the blondes. So I'll be honest, the last time I decluttered, I kept this because of the packaging. Can you blame me? The packaging is beautiful. But I'm not a fan of the highlighter. This one is kind of like, compared to the other ones that I just swatched, it's just really like powdery and I feel like it's dried out. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, next you guys, we have some Kylie highlighters. We'll start with this loose one right here. This is in the shade Santorini. This is one of my favorite favorite highlighters from Kylie. It is so beautiful. I love how icy it is. Like, can you see the top, you guys? I use this for inner corner highlight. I use it for the brow bone. I don't really like to travel with this because it does get messy, but this will sit on my desk and it's easy to grab. It's one of those that I just reach for every day. This one is the Ice Me Out. 020. This is in the new packaging because this is one of the new highlighters. I did want to try it out. I knew there was no new formula. I do like the Kylie print in there by the like dripping wet ones. And it is a really pretty highlighter, you guys. Like, oh. I have the Coco by Kylie. This one is in the shade True Mama. And it is really icy and beautiful. It's kind of like a cool toned pinky shade. So I'm going to keep that one. The Kylie X Grinch. This one has <laughs> like a green hue to it. It is really interesting. I mean, it is the Grinch, so why would it not have like a yellowish green hue? Then this one. Oh, this is the old Ice Me Out. I should compare. All right, so we will swatch the old Ice Me Out, which feels dry, compared to the new one. So the new one is on my pink on my pointer and then the old one is on my pinky. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the old one since I bought the new one. One of my friends I'm sure will get some use out of this. But you guys, they don't look any different. They ooh, they feel different though. This one right here is nice and smooth and buttery whereas this one feels a little powdery. <gasps> You guys, I didn't even realize I had them in there for comparison. And then the last one, this is Hear Me Roar. This was from her birthday collection. This one's just a little lighter and like more subtle. Oh no, it's buildable. Like that built up really pretty. It's kind of like a golden hue. So I am gonna keep that one as well. Okay, and then the last set, you guys, is Ofra. This first one is Star Island, and it's just that icy white. You guys, I just love how buttery smooth Ofra highlighters are. And then there is this one, which is Glazed Donut. This is the Nikki Tutorials collab. This one is just so icy, white, and beautiful. I think there's a reason I kept these ones last time. This is the Madison Miller Moon Dance Highlighter. Oh, you guys, they're so similar and yet they just all are different. So let's see. All right, those are all in the old packaging, so I am gonna keep those. And then I have two in the new, this one is Pillow Talk, which is just that really pretty pinky shade. Oh, that is stunning. Milk and Cookies, oh my goodness, you guys. I will not get rid of this one. This is like 
amazing. And it smells so good. It is so yummy. Then I have blush stripes, which I've never used this one. You guys, can you see it? Look at that. Ooh. That is stunning. And then Dream Chaser. Ooh, it's just like an icy pinky shade. Yep, you guys are all staying. Did anyone think I was actually gonna get rid of Ofra highlighters? Like, okay, you guys. Last but not least, face palettes. And face palettes I consider to be if it's blush and bronzer, blush, bronzer, highlight, highlight and blush, like any of those things that is like a combination of the two, that is a face palette. So I'm not starting in any particular order. I tried to group them by their brand. My face palettes last time dwindled down. So now we're just gonna go back through them and see if I still love them. Okay, so we'll start out right here with Kylie. This is actually a blush highlighter duo and it's, a really pretty peachy shade as well as this really pretty highlighter. Just beautiful and like pinky. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this one. And then I also have this little like four quad. It's got bronzer, blush, and two highlighters. This, I mean, can you tell? I really, really like that bronzer and I will continue to use this, so I'm gonna keep this in my collection. Next, I have the Contour Kit Light to Medium from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is really pretty. I haven't really used it much. I've used one of the shades, this one here in the middle, so I do wanna give it a fair shot. I think, like, I literally played with this right before I packed up my house in Chicago, so it just didn't get that opportunity. So I'm gonna keep this and try it out and see what I think. This one from Morphe. So this is the Highlight Contour Palette. This is the AL Lo-Fi. Now I'll be honest, you guys, I used to reach for this. I really liked the shade Donut, but that was literally all I liked in this palette. The highlighters are okay, but I mean, as you guys just saw, I have tons of highlighters. So I am gonna go ahead, get rid of this, and maybe one of my friends will get some good use out of it. It's not a bad palette, I just don't reach for it. Then you guys, this Revolution Pro HD Power Contour literally has never been used. So we are going to part ways and I'm going to pass this on to someone else. Um, it's never been used, so why keep it when I have other contour palettes? Okay, next you guys, I have the Tarte Pro Glow. So this opens up and there are <laughs> two mirrors on either side. In this, you have the Sculpt Cream Contour, and then you have a powder shade. You also have these four highlighters, which the highlighters still feel and look beautiful. So I am gonna keep this palette. I think that I can get some good use out of it if I actually just reach for it. And then this one, I couldn't remember if I had two of the same, but I don't. This one is all powder, so there's two blushes, two highlights, two bronzer shades. Um, the blushes I don't really reach for, and I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of this. Like I might have used the highlights a little bit. Because I kept the other one, I am gonna get rid of this one just because like I'm not gonna use the blushes. The highlighters are okay. This bronzer looks a little warm. So maybe one of my friends can get some use out of this. Okay, next you guys, I have two from Charlotte Tilbury. First off, I can just tell you right now, they're not going anywhere. This is the Instant Look of Love in a palette, Pretty Blushed Beauty. This is a face palette with a bronzer, the face powder, blush, highlight, and then three eyeshadows. This is a really easy, like, out the door makeup in my, or put this in my makeup bag and just chuck it in my backpack type of thing. So this is really convenient and I like the shades that are in here. It is really hard sometimes to find a full complete face palette that actually has a blush that you're like, mm, that's my shade. So this one I will keep. And look at the packaging, guys, it is stunning. And then the other Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Nudegasm Face Palette. This has been my go-to. So these two shades I mix together for contour and bronzer. This blush is amazing. The highlighter, it's it's subtle, it's, 
it's pretty it's just not like when it goes on my face it's not as like blinding as I want it to be I guess I could try and build it up but I just don't have that time like I just want something that I dip in and is automatically beaming this like can you see <laughs> I feel like I'm about to hit pan on some of these shades so then I have this little palette from glam light this has a bronzer and two highlights the highlights are really pretty the bronzer I haven't really played into that much I think I've used it once or twice so I do want to give this a fair shot I did get it this year and I'll continue to try it out and decide later on down the road this one from urban decay this was the naked cherry collection this has a blush and two highlighters. The blush is really pretty. It looks super bright in here, but it actually is very subdued. And then the highlighters are stunning. So I am gonna keep this one. I really do like this collection. And then this Cover FX face palette. This is actually in the shade light, light medium. I got this in a subscription box and I really do enjoy it. So there's a finishing powder, you have a brightener, you have two highlighters, a blush, and a contour. This is super easy for travel as well. Grab this, an eyeshadow palette, and your favorite foundation and run out the door and you're good to go. It doesn't take up a lot of room, if, especially if you're one of those minimal makeup. This is easy to grab. Okay, the next stack, you guys, I have quite a few here. Some just little hodgepodge of one, onesie twosies. So this one right here is the Love Cheek Duo from Natasha Denona. First off, the packaging is stunning with the little hearts, but this is a blush and highlight, and you guys, this is beautiful. So I am gonna keep this in my collection. I did only get to use this twice last year um, before I packed it up, but you guys, it's beautiful. I had fun with it, and you know, I wanna get more into cream products, so I will definitely be reaching for this a little more often. Then I have the Disney Princess from Sigma. This is Cinderella. The blush is stunning. The highlighter is just as beautiful. It is amazing. I love Sigma and I've only used them once. Like their eyeshadow palette was beautiful. This blush highlighter duo is beautiful. So I'm going to keep this one in my collection as well. This CoverGirl Chocoholic Contour Palette. Yes, I know it's no longer available. But you guys, this palette, but you guys, this palette, this bronzer is really pretty. And then the two highlighters in here, whether they're separate or you decide to mix them together, are a lot of fun. And it smells like chocolate, you guys. Never expected that from CoverGirl. Becca, this is the Chloe and Malika. You guys, this has gotten so much love and it doesn't even look like I've touched it. The bronzer, amazing. I like to mix these two blushes together and then the highlighter is phenomenal. I am so bummed that Becca is no longer around, but you guys, their makeup was amazing. So this will stay in my collection. I do wanna play around with it some more. Just fall back in love with the makeup that I have. This one from Jaclyn, this is the Winter Sun. It has a blush and two highlighters. This is a cream to powder formula which is stunning on the cheeks. The peach is just my shade and then the highlighters together are beautiful. So I'm going to keep this one as well. The L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze. I remember seeing this and I was like, ooh, I need that. And then I literally never used it. So there is a bronzer in here and then there's three highlighters. They are buttery and smooth. They are really pretty. I feel like you could also use them as like eyeshadows too. But you guys, those are really pretty. Okay, you guys, I did just get this one. This is the Kenya Antiveros Beauty Glow and Go Kit. It's pretty um, for someone else because let's be realistic, it's just not my cup of tea. It's very neutral and yes, I kept a lot of neutral eyeshadow palettes in the eyeshadow declutter. But you guys, this just does not speak to me. It's not like, bam, yes, this is my life. I have other face palettes that I kept that I like more. So this is gonna go to someone else who might like it more than I do. The Lucky Glow Bronze and Highlight Palette. This one is interesting. So there's two bronzers, a blush, and then three highlighters. When I played around with this, it was a lot of fun. So I do want to try it out again. It has been packed up in a box, so I'm not really sure like how I feel about it. But for right now, I'm going to keep it and try it out again. Okay, you guys, this one from Physicians Formula and Casey Holmes. 
I love Casey Holmes. Her YouTube channel is one of my favorites. The thing with this though, look, like, look how chunky this is. And then when you open it up, there's literally like five, seven products in here. Four eyeshadows, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And they're not even in my shades. Like if I self tanned, maybe, but I still like, I still don't use that dark of a shade. The butter bronzer is beautiful. I just kept my butter bronzer that I hadn't opened yet, but it's just too dark for me. And then the highlighter, which is stunning, is just really chunky glitter. I just kept two of them and I'm just gonna let this one go. I have friends that I'm sure would love to have this. The eyeshadows are just not the shades that like, I want to keep in my collection because I have other eyeshadow palettes. But someone else will get some love out of this. Okay, you guys, now I have my Hourglass palettes. So this first one, I don't know why this is in the face palette drawer. It's literally like face powder, um, but it can stay in there, I guess with the rest of the hourglass ones. So this is the ambient lighting palette with dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. This is beautiful just like under the eyes for wherever you wanna like give some high beams like in the center of the forehead or the chin. This is beautiful. So this one will stay. Probably I'm not getting rid of any of my hourglass ones just to be honest. Like this one, it's the ambient lighting edit in universe. I just got this one for the holidays. It's beautiful. Bronzer, you've got two blushes, highlighter, and then a face powder. The face powder, I'm not so sure about. I haven't really used it that much, but I'm gonna continue to try it out. But you guys, I do like this. And then they also changed the palette. It's now more magnetic vice a like clunky plastic. So I do like this. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Sculpture. The packaging, you guys, is stunning. It does show all the fingerprints, though. That's, like, awesome. But you have the lighting effect, just like that powder that I have in the other one. And then you have a bronzer and two blushes, which is really nice. Then I have the Ambient Lighting Edit in Ghost. This one, I, I kind of like the packaging because it's just kind of like that, like, frosted matte with the shiny silver. And then inside, you also get the uh ambient lighting you get a highlight a bronzer two blushes so you get a little bit of everything in here is a highlight beaming no but it's something that is going to like highlight the high points and then you can just go in and edit with beaming highlight and then the original that i purchased this is the ambient lighting edit volume four you guys this pink metallic <laughs> something else but same thing you have the two lighting effects you have bronzer two blushes and then this highlight is actually like one of my this one's more favorite <laughs> one of my favorites out of these palettes but hourglass has some subtle highlights they call it a strobe powder euphoric strobe light i don't know about that i just blend all three together and see what the hodgepodge looks like when i put it on <laughs> If that makes sense. Okay, you guys, I've got some NARS, Too Faced, and Ofra. So this first one from NARS, this is the Orgasm Infatuation. This palette has gotten some love. So this is the Orgasm Blush. This is the Laguna Bronzer. And then I can't ever remember the highlighter. Oh, it's an Orgasm. Orgasm Highlighting Blush Powder. But this travels with me everywhere. I love this. Orgasm blush is beautiful. I don't really go for the pinky shades, but this just on the skin is amazing. Bronze is really pretty. And then the highlighter, I still have not gotten anywhere close to hitting pan, but it is a beautiful highlighter. So and can we talk about the packaging? Like look how stunning that is. Then also that same year, I think this one came out. This is the Hot Tryst Cheek Palette. This has blushes and highlighters. So these four are blushes. These two are highlighters. Stunning. I always gravitate towards this one, but sometimes I'll mix it up to deepen it up a little bit. And this highlighter I have literally dug in. This one also from NARS. This is the Free Lover Cheek Palette. 
So again, you got five blushes in here this time and then a highlighter. For Too Faced, I have <laughs> the rest of that little snow girl. I thought it was a snowman, apparently it's a snow girl, but this slides open and you have the bronzer and highlighter. And you guys, this is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And if you thought that I was getting rid of my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer, you will be sadly mistaken because I will also be keeping this one and then the Angel Wings highlighter. She's so cute. So now I have the other part of that house. So one of the eyeshadow palettes looked like a house and then I think I threw the door away because I had like pressed glitters that were dried out. This is the top of that house and this is the blush bronzer highlighter duo. Extra toasty bronzer, you have the Daydreamer blush and then the highlighter. Love the bronzer, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. And the highlighter is also really pretty. The blush is eh, but you guys, I'm going to keep it because I do like two of the three products and I get some use out of it, so. For Ofra, I have the Madison Miller. This is the, I wanna say it's a blush and highlighter palette. Yep, so you've got the blush right here. You've got two highlighters. These are really pretty and I love Madison Miller. So I was excited for this collab and I will be keeping it in my collection. These are easy to just grab and stick in a makeup bag because they have two of the three products that I need for my cheeks. So it minimizes the amount of products that are like loose and floating around in my makeup bag. And then the Ofra on the Glow palette. This one is fairly new in my collection. It has the bronzers, the California Dream Triangle has bronzer and blush in here. And then there's the three highlighters, which I have this highlighter and this highlighter in that smaller like cheek palette, as well as, oh, the Beverly Hills highlighter is in there too. Hmm, maybe I can get rid of that smaller one and just keep this bigger one. But that small one is good for travel. I think I'm just gonna keep this one and then I will get rid of that smaller one to some of my friends because if I have these bigger uh, highlighters, it doesn't make sense to keep a smaller palette when my friends will benefit from it. And you guys, the last stack, this is just MAC and Benefit. So this is the Patrick Star. It's the I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo. And this is supposed to be in the blush drawer, but when I looked at this, <laughs> because the shade is a little bit darker, I was like, oh, it's a blush and bronzer. It's not. And it's both supposed to be blush. Um, the peach is pretty, and I like this shade for a bronzer, but I can't bring myself to keep this when I have others that like I use more. I know that I have someone that will probably want to use this. And then this is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Fair. So this was a holiday collection couple of years ago now. So bronzer, blush, highlighter, very beautiful. When I first got this, it was really hard to break through like the first layer to even get some color. But once I was able to, it is beautiful on the skin. Just that pinky peach shade, the highlighter is stunning. So I am gonna keep this for right now. Okay, so even though this says that it's MAC, <laughs> these are ColourPop, just to be honest. So this one is in the shade Opening Act and it's a pressed bronzer. Gonna keep that one. And then the blush is in the shade I Need Space, also keeping it. And then the highlighter is in the shade Main Attraction. I don't know how I purchased them separately, but they did end up in my MAC little case. They're not magnetized in there but I mean, it works. So I will be keeping those as well and it just became a face palette at that point. Now I have the Cheek Stars Mini Reunion Tour. You guys, this one is, it's okay. Georgia is really pretty as a peachy shade. Hula, it's a cult classic, but Sugar Bomb, I need to play around with it more. I look at it and it looks scary. Like, let's see, when we mix it up, what is, uh, is it? pinky peach shade. I'll play around with this some more. I'm not gonna let it go because Georgia is really pretty as a like shiny cheek blush. I think those would be really pretty together. Just mix the two. And then my first benefit like face palette. This is the blush bar. 
This has Hoola in it as well as four blushes. So I'm able to get rid of that Gold Rush Benefit Brick because I do have it in my Benefit Blush Bar Palette. Um, they do not actually have this palette anymore. I haven't been able to find it. But you guys, I do like it because you've got California, you have Dandelion, Rockateur, like these two shades are my favorite. And then Hula, I can just dip in once in a while if I need a bronzer. So I do like Blush Bar, I'm keeping that one. Cheek Leaders. There were two of them that came out. This one I want to say is like the light shades because I want to say they were two, like there was Pink Squad and then there was something else. And that one had Cookie in it, which is why I bought Cookie separate. So this one actually this time has one bronzer. You would think that Dallas is a bronzer, but it's actually a blush. Dandelion and California, which I do have in the other, I have both Dandelion and California in the other palette, um, but then Tickle is a really pretty highlighter. So I do like Benefit blushes and their bronzers, so I'm going to keep this. Also because it's easier to keep the palettes via the little like blush bricks, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys. I am so thankful that that is over and we got through the blushes, bronzers, and highlights as well as the face palettes, which you guys, I never know going into this how much I'm going to get rid of. Sometimes I might get rid of one or two things. Sometimes I might get rid of a lot more. Okay, so for the final numbers for each category, for blushes, I got rid of 27. For bronzers, we got rid of 12. And for highlighters, I got rid of 41, which is one of my favorite, like, products so I am really surprised that I got rid of so many and then for face palettes we got rid of five which I didn't know if I was going to get rid of any of my face palettes but there's just something about being in the moment and actually asking yourself like do I really need to keep this I feel good knowing that the products that I'm getting rid of my friends can go through it they can find some new things that they'll love and play around with and they'll have a new home so it, there's just something about cleaning out the closet, the makeup drawers, just refreshing to sit, reset the new year. So you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But you guys, that's it for this video. And until next time, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.